Hello everyone, it is me, Jared Gaming here, and welcome to the Kensa Weapons Wave 3. I literally have nothing else to say. I'm just gonna have you guys dive right into this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're gonna start with this uh, L3, Kensa L3, as we would call it, as our first subject of the matter, since it's mostly the uh, special that interests me the most. And the next, I'll probably try the Splattershot Junior, because, you know, why not? I mean, even though the Undercover Bell is probably better, but I'd rather prefer a more overall weapon, so I'll do the undercover the splatter shot junior because I can so let's get started all right so the mode today is or the mode that we're doing right now is clam blitz and I don't know what to say other than you know clam blitz can be a butt it's a big butt a real big butt but I think I mostly just want to throw my wall everywhere I think it's mostly what I want to do Heal, 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 heal. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. I really wanted to throw it, but then I didn't. Okay, but I think I know. I think I know when to throw it, I think. Or maybe. Maybe it does take a little bit of a startup in order to actually throw it. At least the one thing we learned interesting is the fact that when you. Uh, it's the fact that you can smash any bombs in your way as I. Smash. Oh! Okay. So, good to know that you can still uh, kill them that easily, I guess. Okay, so that's another thing. Is that even though... Um, even though when, when they're using the Ultra Stamp, it's like they're like massive and really big and they can kill you really easily, they are much more visible targets. You can still kill them just as easily as you were if, with any other type of special. I don't know where they... Oh, okay. That's where they are. I never thought this was going to go good in the first place, but whatever. Where are they coming from? You know, I thought this was going to be a good battle, but you know what? I guess I'm wrong. Okay. This Ultra Stamp is a lot more harder to control than I thought. Like, really hard to control. And that's, that's another thing I was thinking of, I was wondering like, okay, so this Ultra Stamp is pretty powerful, it can squash our enemies and it keeps on squashing, so what's its weakness? I guess its one weakness is that the, the, uh, what was I gonna say, uh, the general way you shift between other sections is a little bit strange, but, see, like, I can't just turn around like that. It's not gonna work like that, but I mean, I guess I did squash like two enemies right ahead. I guess actually, not think about it. Maybe it's kind of maybe the ultra stamp is kind of good for stuff like that. Maybe it's not good like the no, what was it? it's it's good. Maybe it's like it's not like the bubble blower where you could just swim right in it and then just instantly start pushing because you're in the bubbles and you're probably gonna get that comeback super quickly. But it's probably gonna be one of those things where you're supposed to distract your enemy make them regret ever facing you all that types of stuff now that's what I'm probably guessing this is good for at least that's what I believe uh, alright where are they going they are far off over there far off to the middle there's just one right there Okay, you don't. Oh no, hold up. Hold up. Oh <gasps> no! Are you serious? Are you serious? They just they just took it just like that. Oh. Okay, so the ultra stamp takes a little bit of startup before you can just immediately start slamming them. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. This makes a lot more sense now. 
I originally thought it was going to be this extremely strong special where I could just do whatever I want with it, but I guess I'm a little bit wrong, and I don't know why, but something makes me a little bit glad that I am, because I because if I was right that this was going to be some kind of incredibly powerful special that is like super hard to counter, then there is technically no point in playing with any other weapon other than the weapons with those specific specials. Oh no. No! We... Oh! Wow! Just... Wow! Seriously? This... We took the comeback. And we immediately lost it. Oh my gosh. How did it all come to be this way? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm, I'll just, I'll just pick the, um, that, uh, precious Kensa Sparshot Jr., which it doesn't need any Ink Saver main whatsoever, but it does need a little bit of Ink Curry up. And, um, yeah, that's, that's all I can think of. Um, actually, now I think about it, maybe it does need a little bit of Ink Saver main, mostly because I feel like the Splash Jr. is mostly used for just being on the battlefield for as long, or just being on top of the ground for as long as possible. I think that's what it's all about. I'm not sure what Cell Power Up does to the Torpedo, but we'll figure it out. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to argue with me how Ink Saver Main is completely irrelevant with the Spyro Shot Jr., but, you know, Spyro Shot Juniors are meant to stay on ground forever, so I feel like it's it's going to do something, at least. At least maybe, at least maybe, maybe we'll get a good win on this match. Maybe we'll get a good win. Maybe. Maybe. In the meantime, um, enjoy this uh, precious um, quality time of my voice. Really good on that microphone like this you ain't gonna get stuff like this every day and that's that's all i can say but let's get started and now i think about it this is also one of the also this is again one of those weapons that's gonna have it's um it's 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 it's, it's, it's big fat baby ink tank that's what this thing has oh hey wait a second i thought what the? Did they just? I am so confuzzled. Did did they just already throw? Oh my! We didn't even get started. They're already chunking it in. This is what? We done? Oh my gosh! We are not. Wow! Not even one single minute passed, and already. We are at a really horrible start. Like, really horrible. Like, this is... This is bad. Actually, wait, hold up. There's that guy. Oh, oh shoot! I forgot even he has the... Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. All right, fine. It's... Wow. Wow. What is this? What is this garbage? What is this? We're not even halfway through the match. We pretty much already lost. I don't know if, it, if my team is just relatively bad or if it's me or if it's them. Because this is this is kind of stupid. No. Oh. Wow. Okay. Uh, this sucks. This really sucks. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. So this thing, this thing right here, is by far not a spammable sub because you can only throw one at a time. That's what's going on. You can only throw one at a time. Originally, I thought it was like some super spammable sub where it was like it was, and it can get destroyed. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see how it got destroyed just like that? Okay, so this is a relatively weak special. That's just. That's, that, okay, this, this is, alright, yeah, we pretty much lost, that, that was, that was so stupid, what just happened, that start of the match is what just screwed everything up, they just, 
I, how do I describe it? Like, that was, that was kind of stupid. That was kind of ridiculous. That was kind of unnaturally unfair. That was kind of, that was kind of baloney. I want to press charges for that, even though that's probably not what you do when you lose a match that was clearly pretty unfairly. I am honestly kind of angry. That was, uh, what do, what do I say? What, what do I say to that? Other than that just went so horribly. Okay. So let's uh, use a more than likely a better weapon, I think. We're going to use this. And um, I think I'm just going to use this set. I'm not really... I'm honestly... No, actually, this, this set will not work right here. This Because uh, the run speed won't work at all. So I think we might have to... Go back to this, I think. Oh, we're gonna. Okay, never mind. It's gonna need a lot of special charge up if it's over 180. Now, actually, one quick fact I want to teach you guys real quick. When I'm playing with a weapon that requires 180 points or less, then I feel like it's kind of pointless to put on any type of special charge up, unless it's with a weapon like this where it's not really that good at coverage at all. Then, then, then that's when it's necessary to put on some kind of, you know, special charge up or something. But this, this, this might work. I don't know. But let's just uh, hope this goes a lot better. Because this, this should not really be that long of a video. But I guess if I'm just gonna lose two matches in a row just like that, be oh my gosh! Legitimately, guys, what do I say to that? What, what do you guys want to say to that? second round we just did like all I can think of is that was a little bit stupid that was kind of ridiculous that I'm kind of angry at that I don't know what to say other than oh, that was like the worst clamless match I could have ever had in my life all we did was just we didn't even do anything that, that's all I'm gonna say we didn't even do anything we just died we just lost right off the bat. Okay, so let's just get on topic with this. This is I don't like this weapon for several reasons. It even though I took out that guy just like that, but this is a low range weapon. So you're not meant to defend yourself that easily. And that was just wow. But the Octobrush, you're not really meant to defend yourself that easily because this is like a really, really low range weapon. And even though this is really good at traveling, but that's kind of the only thing it's good at in terms of clam blitz. Other than that, if someone has a longer range weapon, not like the Dapple Dooleys, you're going to have a lot of trouble facing them. Although I guess there's not really that many people with long range weapons, so I think it's fine. Okay, so in terms of doing like 180 turns with the Ultra Stamp, that's not going to happen. It's going to have to be some kind of like, um, what was going to say, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. It's going to be, it's going to have to be some kind of situation where it's necessary. But, now that I think about it, there are, never mind. I'll just give out my opinions and thoughts in the very aftermath. And I see someone trying to surf on that curling bomb, I'm not going to allow them to do that. And, yeah, this is why I don't like the Octobrush. It's too weak. It's too weak to do anything. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just gonna crush anything I see. Even though I kinda didn't. But I think we did something. Because we threw in that little thing. Our little football. It's not really a little football. It's a, it's a power clam. Okay, well they haven't covered any of our territory. But they are getting close. Again. And there's that. Yeah, okay, so I think it's the Hydra Splatland that's gonna be the problem. Other than that... I think I should be fine against any other weapon. It's the custom Hydra Splatling that's the real issue. And on, oh my, I, really? They just, this is the exact same thing that happened the first round. Okay, all I can think of is, let's just hope that whatever we're thinking of doing, it's gonna be amazing. Cause this is, this is stupid. This is literally stupid. I don't know what to say other than every time we try so hard, we just ain't gonna make it, are we? So the last one, I have to use this. Oh 
Oh my gosh, finally, we got an actual win. Like, uh, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there is our actual win that you guys were looking for, and that I was looking for, that we, 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 we pretty much just could not get, and, uh, you know, it's ridiculous, it's, um, it's just ridiculous. But, yeah. Okay, so, guys, that was the, um, what was I gonna say, um, that is the... Kenso Weapons Wave 3. I'm, I'm aware that I didn't play with all of them. I only played with, you know, the three, the Octobrush, the Spyroshot Jr., the L3, and not the Undercover Brella. But even though this Undercover Brella actually looks kind of beautiful, um, I'm not really into the Undercover Brella because every time I use it, I remember why I don't like it. Because if someone has a powerhouse weapon like the Blaster or a Splatling, then this thing is pretty much screwed. And even then, it's still kind of weak to something like the Splattershot Pro. But, unless it was something like this one, where it doesn't have any sub to back it up to destroy a shield, um, this one is very powerful. But, um, what do I think of the Kenzo Weapons Wave 3? Well, um, my summary of thoughts. I do like it better than, I do like it just a little bit better than the Wave 1. One, I think, even though I still really like the Kensa Spot Shot uh, kind of a lot, which I'm not sure why, but I do definitely like the Wave 2 over the um, Wave 3. And that's not because of the fact that it's, you know, it's the Spot Shot Pro. I love it with my heart, and no matter what, nothing will take over my love against the Kensa Spot Shot Pro. It's not just because of the weapon, you know, it's, 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 the weapon, but it's what they paired it up with. This one has Splat Bomb and Booyah Bomb. Well, even though these other four are genuinely great, you can argue with me that the L3 is amazing, but I feel like in some way, the sub, the new sub, and the special is a little bit underrated or a little bit underwhelming because I expected the Ultra Stamp to be some kind of super extreme powerhouse and you know, whatever was in your way, you're going to take it out right away. And even though you can throw the ultra stamp and that is your long range attack i don't really see any point of doing it because when you throw it then your special is pretty much gone unlike all the other specials where you, some of them like the ink storm you're meant to throw it but it's still going on the ultra stamp is just meant to take out your enemies and that i feel like is not the same when you try to put it to something like the booyah bomb where it tries to split in between it and, um, yeah. The Torpedo Bomb, surprisingly, a lot... It's, it is an incredibly underwhelming uh, sub. I originally thought it was going to be this spammable torpedo thing where you, like, you can launch one, and then, like, before it lands, you can just launch another one right away. But... I'm a little bit glad that I'm wrong, but what I'm kind, what I kind of feel like is a little bit weird with it is the fact that you can destroy it relatively easily. I mean, if you've seen my situations where with that, um, with that end zapped, where he pretty much he was like shooting at someone, and the torpedo bomb was pretty much gone. Um, maybe if the torpedo bomb just had like two hits rather than just one, maybe I might go with that. But maybe I mean maybe I could be wrong. And these, this is mostly just a first impression, but um, when that Wave 4 does come out, I do plan on making an overall summary of what I think about the Kensa weapons and going in depth with it. So yeah, so Wave 3 Kensa weapons, like it, but not as much. I, I like it over the Wave 1, but not as much as the Wave 2. And I'm pretty sure you guys kind of know why, but at the same time, again, it's not because... There, there's a Kensa Spot. It's not just because there's the Kensa Spot Shot Pro, but it's also because they, what they tried to do to make it feel good. Like they instead of, maybe the Sashi Machine. It would. Well, okay, okay, maybe. No, this is Wave Two. What it tried to do was make weapons that feel like they weren't used to make them just overall so much more better. Like the Spot Shot Pro and the Lunum Blaster, for example. The Wave Three, I feel like is taking the same thing as they did with Wave 1, but more better. Wave 1 was, like, giving a different perspective of how you would play with certain main weapons. Wave 3 was like that, but, like, pairing it up with something new. And it, it that's alright, but, like, the... 
it was a little bit underwhelming. And now that I think about it, the Ultra Stamp might be actually weak in terms of, you know, something against the custom Jet Squelcher or the Jet Squelcher because that's a long range and any Charger in general, any long range because even though the Ultra Stamp, like I said, you can throw it, but it takes a lot of startup. And if it, if someone was using uh, the Splatter Shot Pro, they'd probably kill you like right before you can throw it. So I don't see i see why people think this is strong this is probably super strong against weapons that need to be all up in your face like um the point fifty two, for example but that's all i'm gonna say um that's my overall thoughts i mean i should not have spent a lot of time and even though i never got to give any of my thoughts about the booyah bomb but like i said when that wave 3 does come out i'll probably do some kind of uh video about the you know all the waves in one video or i might kind of separate them into two parts let me let me know what you guys think should i just have all four waves in this one video of me just doing nothing but ranting about what i think of it or should i just do that but like just with two waves at a time because we still have an entire month until they reveal the next four kensa weapons but uh anyways guys hope you enjoy watching this uh Un unnaturally long video this was supposed to be short but um i guess not and um you know if you guys enjoy watching this video give it a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you would like some more splatoon 2 content or any other content related or coming from me and uh yeah the the, the kensa wave 3 is cool but whatever i'll see you guys whatever we do next take care everybody Whoa, whoa, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm aware there's probably a lot of you questioning, what about the new map that, you know, just recently came out and all that stuff? Well, um, boom, here it is. Okay, so this, as you can clearly see, is a different time. But we're just gonna go ahead into the salmon run. That's all I'm just gonna say. We're, we're, we're just gonna hop right in, because, uh, you know, the salmon run looks very sexy indeed. It looks amazing. So, you know what? We're about to hop right into it. Whoa, Ruins of the Ark. Polaris? Po wow, oh my gosh. Look how big this thing. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, oh, no, there's a the water. Stinky water. Oh, wow. This is how we're going to start out. So I can't just. In I can't just enjoy it the way I want to enjoy it. I have to deal with this fog first. Alright, fine. I guess that seems acceptable. Oh, shoot. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I do? What do I do? Is there a uh, bowels coming in? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Let's kill that thing. There we go. Ah! No! Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to enjoy this if it's high tide. But I see there are ink rails around me, and I think I've... Man, what do you use them for, actually? Oh. Oh, wow. It takes me across the entire map. That's just... <gasps> That's just amazing. Okay. So at least now we know what to use that for. Oh, hold up. Give me a sec. This thing was being very, very, very inappropriate with me. Oh, hey. I'm going to go around this whole map. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, why is everyone dying? Is that just a natural common cause at this point? Oh, finally, I died. Jice. Okay, well, that went. This, that was just like. Okay, so this stage on the high tide is just not great. But is it gonna give us a. I think it's gonna give us a low tide. What? What? In the. What? What? That's crazy! What? This is. Wow! This might just be the best Salmon Run stage to ever exist. Like, for the- like, I'm a positive this is the last Salmon Run stage, but 
Dang, this is good. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I heard the little tune thing. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I did. Oh wow, this is bad. Ugh. 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 No. Ugh. Oh, these salmons get to these salmons get to swim in the water like that. That's kind of unfair. There we go. Ugh. 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 Oh my gosh. Yo, what is going on? Ah! No! Okay, this is this is just okay. 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 Hopefully, whoever is alive stays alive okay so this is uh this is incredibly interesting this is this is one big map this is one big map i really like this i definitely do prefer oh wait it's medium type uh yeah i mean we still get this area over here we still get a large portion of the area so i think that's fine with me i mean this is a really big map or i i don't know if it's just me but to me this looks to be like this looks to be a very large map. That means we have a lot of time to just... And we can go back up there really quick because of the rails, too. That's another thing. And uh, sections like this up here. So, uh... Yeah, there's not really too much to complain about this map, I think. Oh, 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 dang it. <laughs> just I say that. Okay, so it might be a little bit... So I guess, yeah, I gotta, gotta be just a little bit careful with the ink rails. Because you don't want to mess yourself up. Oh wow, okay, so it's just perfectly missed. Perfectly missed. That's just great. There goes that little fishy. Although we can get the small fry from up here. Or not the small fry, the fly fish. Pretty easily. I don't know why I got teammates that are just dying all the time, but alright. Wait, are you going up th Are you guys going up there? Oh, come on. You guys just left me. Oh boy. Hey, you stay away. You stay away. Stay away. Uh, yeah. This, uh, this looks bad. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it was bad from the start, because... Um... <laughs> Dang. You girls died a lot died more than I did, apparently. All of you. <gasps> uh, alright, well, uh, oh, oh, shoot, okay, fine. Well, uh, that was the Kenta Weapons Wave 3 and the Salmon Run section. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want some more of this. And, uh, I should, you know, I should probably come up with a new outro or something. I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care, everyone, and let's just see what December has to uh, offer to us. I need to charge my computer, like, literally. I should also do an ASMR.